guys, let me say this first. This is for education and informational purposes only. So make sure that you talk to those professionals in your lives. Make sure you follow all the rules of your state to ensure that you make your money, keep your money and grow your money. So you, for you to now think, okay, so what do I need to do? Mm -hmm. Because this right here is not working. So how do I now position myself so that I don't have to worry about this, right? Mm -hmm. What are some things that I can do differently? And I'm, I'm not saying this is across the board. Please hear me, because we don't <laughs> want any hate. Right, don't come for us now. <laughs> courageous conversation with yourself and yes. know yourself and that and that sounds so cliche but, but it's until the truth. you know yourself you're not able to fulfill your purpose then you're not able to do all those things you're called to do you're not That's able to right. build generational wealth That's and leave right. an inheritance for your children's children you can't do that because you over here struggling trying to rob peter to pay paul and we have at what point will you say i can't live like this anymore and that goes back to the 250 or 300 that they're going to get or have gotten in the account mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. what are you going to do with that right right you know? so when you think about it and i'm glad you brought us back cause yeah because we got all the way yeah. off get bring us back right to the, to the point at hand <laughs> that you receive so are you going to teach your child um, how to save and to invest mm -hmm. using those funds um, because and then truth be told some of you may not even know how to invest yourself you probably haven't even started investing beyond what's in your 401k or your 403b mm -hmm. or whatever retirement account you have at work if you have one yep right if you have one so thinking about that, how do you get started? I made some notes for yeah, you. Yeah, she has Why? some notes. And, and, and listen, <laughs> I'm going to try to put, you know, some of this stuff, you know, in the description box and, you know, whatever information as far as social media she has. And, you know, maybe you'd like to hit her on social media if you have questions because she really is a plethora of information and she has helped me. I mean, really, you know, because as a, a self-employed, stylist mm -hmm. you don't always have the means mm -hmm. to do these things right. but with her help right. i have begun to do a lot of these things awesome yeah. awesome so guys and i appreciate you for saying that april because mm -hmm. i did write down here you can't fix in public what you won't fight in private that's right See, we, some of us have some private things mm. that we're dealing with we have some mm -hmm. internal uh, the inner me is our enemy right, right. So we have these internal things that we're trying to fight that. and that mm -hmm. ties into, and I don't know what it is for you, but for me, it used to be the keep up with the Joneses. Right. It was the shiny object syndrome. Yes. I'm just going to be real. In social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, everybody out there, right? <laughs> People can have the most <laughs> lavish lives on social media. But if you go there for real, go to the real. And you see how they living because what they the just real. did was took a picture in front of somebody else's Rolls Royce, somebody else's Bentley, and told you that it was theirs. Okay. <laughs> okay. So don't, we're not falling for that hype. Right. So we got to get rid of that shiny yes. object syndrome. Mm -hmm. And guys, one of the issues for us, especially uh, Americans, mm -hmm. see the way that they do everything all of the marketing and advertising and everything that happens is to put us in that consumer mindset that's right and where are the greatest of the trillions of dollars that keep continue to flow through the community they're coming from the black households. that's right that's right they're coming from our households and yep. you can see you go through you do the research you can see how long a dollar stays in our community right. when compared to dollars and how long they stay in the in the Asian, Asian community, community or yes. the white community, how long yes. how much longer their dollars stay within their community. Mm -hmm. But that's another conversation. Yeah, right we here. we're gonna have to have <laughs> Lynn back on here because she has good stuff. <laughs> that's another conversation. 
conversation, but yes. what I want you to do with that, um, thinking through that $250, be strategic mm -hmm. and be intentional with every action with those extra dollars. If you don't need it to live the day to day that you currently have to do, I get it. It's school's about to start. Right. Babies need school clothes. Okay, this July $250, mm -hmm. go ahead and get your baby some school clothes. Right. But there's a download that's potentially coming August through December mm -hmm. that you can probably use to help your baby learn how to save and invest. Get you a oh, course wow. where you can learn how to do that. Or, and I need you to hear this, you need to opt out. You say, what? Yes. Say it again. Opt out of receiving that. You need to go to the IRS.gov, go to their website. You can look at the child tax portal mm -hmm. and it gives you the instructions on how to opt out. Google it. Remember I told you about <laughs> Uncle Google? It's free 99. Right. Go and do it. Now, why Why do they need to opt out? Because they're going to ask, well, what is she talking about? I need my money. Okay. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I know. It's your money and you need it now, right? Right. <laughs> so when you think about it, the um, money is from your taxes. So mm -hmm. if you're used to receiving a tax refund in February, March, or April, whenever you, you know, submit, mm -hmm then I want you to go back and look at all of that because this is a early download of that refund. Say so it if again. You're, that's an early download, right? Yes. Of your refund. <laughs> so if you are a, accustomed to a larger refund that you have plans for something that you want to do mm -hmm. in February, March, or, or whatever, then I would highly recommend, I suggest you go, go to the site, unenroll. Yeah. Right? Is that a word? Under Under roll, yes. <laughs> Listen, if it's not, we just made it up. Okay. If you disenroll, right. under, under roll, roll what yeah. about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But with that said, as you're going through that process and you're thinking, okay, so what's the best for me and mm -hmm. my family? Mm -hmm. And the only reason I say that, guys, is because we opted out ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. We opt out of that because I understand, and most of the time, because we run our own businesses, we, right. we, we paying. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we are. Heavily. We are, we are paying. Yes. So any early downloads, that's not going to be the best fit for me and my family, mm -hmm. right? So think about what that looks like for you and where are you traditionally, and if you need to talk to an accountant or a CPA or whomever your mm -hmm. tax provider is, Please speak with that right. person. Speak with them now. They're not just there to fill out your tax Taxes. forms, right? right? They're <laughs> here to help you throughout the year mm -hmm. and to help you make better financial decisions so that you're not mm -hmm. having to pay as much in the end, okay? And, and also, and not to interrupt you in sure saying enough. that, but opting out, I, was, I don't have any small children under 18 anymore, but I may have, if my son was under 18, opted out because what am I doing on a regular basis I that I need this extra money you know what mm -hmm. I mean so like ordinarily they wouldn't have gave you this extra 250 or 300 for so many months mm -hmm. so think about like you just said why do you need that now mm -hmm. Can you wait until the end of the year when you normally get your, your refunds or mm -hmm. whatever it is you're mm -hmm. getting? Mm -hmm. Why? Because in the end, what if, I don't know if this has anything to do with this um, child tax thing that they're doing, but what happens if you owe and they give you this? You know what I mean? You owe more. <laughs> right, exactly. That, that's my point. You owe that's more. my point. Exactly. So it's not something that they're giving you. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like you go to your job and you ask them for an advancement, and but you're going to have to pay it back. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And then, you know, Uncle Sam puts penalties on his when he doesn't get exactly. it. Exactly. And I really, I mean, the government, the Italian mafia don't have nothing on the <laughs> government mafia, okay? <laughs> some true courageous conversation yes. with you to God today because you can't fix in public what you won't deal with in private. And I love that. I'm going to have to put that up. <laughs> so one of the things that I wanted to give you before we close out to help you to actually focus 
right? Mm -hmm. How do you get in the right mindset so you can do this? You need to master the time to focus on your money. Mm -hmm. So I know in our household, we have um, individual set up time to focus on our money. And then That's we have awesome. family time to focus and set up on our money. Awesome. Yes, we do. We have weekly individual meetings where we actually go through our awesome. finances. But my husband and I, we sit, to, sit together monthly, right? Mm -hmm. And then with the little one, we sit together with him as well. Now, how old is your son? Because that is going to make a difference to our YouTube family so that, you know, they understand that your son is understanding what you're saying, yeah. you know. So, well, my son has been growing up in this for Right, he, right. He's 10 now. Um, but we've been doing this, so um, he's had a financial peace notebook mm -hmm. since he was three years old. Okay? Wow. And you know those old school trapper keeper with the zipper yes, pockets? Yes, yes. <laughs> so he has three zipper pouches in okay. his notebook. And we just went in there with a Sharpie. We wrote saving. Okay. We wrote spending and we wrote investing on the outside of those pouches. And anytime he gets money, whether it's monies that he's, you know, birthday, right, Christmas, whatever. birthday, Christmas, grace. Yeah, we still do. Yeah, still, grace. yeah, yeah. I know there's a debate around. You don't pay babies for grace, Listen. but that was part of what we right. did. That's what we did. Okay. Right. <laughs> you can come at me for that right. one. Right. <laughs> but anyway, um, he had to divvy up his money yeah. and put it into each of those. And then we had where he took a part of his saving, he also had some giving. Okay. okay? Yes. So yes. he knew how to, give, give. Yes. how to give, you know, in the little, whether he gave at church. Right. Um, in his little class or <laughs> if he gave some to other way. Yes, to yeah. charity. Mm -hmm. So we include all of that, even and when he been, goes through. And, and does his little toy giveaway. He does that through charity. Now that's well. awesome. That um, is something I think, may, you know, you could do it however you want to do it, mm -hmm. but that's something that you may want to incorporate with your children. Um, I wish I had did something like that because telling my son and actually showing him right. <laughs> at that time, right. you know. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 He would have more now. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And, that, and that's the beauty of it. Yeah. No yeah. matter how much we give away, it seems like we get so much more. Yes, we do. And it's it's just, and it's not always physical things. Right. right? It's right. not always about the physical. It's not always about the green dollar or the, mm -mm. the coins, right? Mm -mm. <laughs> it's mm -mm. always, you get so much more in return. But to get back to how do you now master your time to focus on your money? Right. There's some reflection questions that I want to give you. And there are three of them. And I suggest that you write these down. Now, I'm gonna so put them remember. up. I'm gonna put it. You can send them to me, and I'll put them up because you know that way they can really focus and think about these questions. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. That's good. So the first question: What is the biggest breakdown in your finances that you would want to solve? Mm. You need to just think about it. Where is that leak? Where is that money leak? Right? Hey. Where is that? Thing that's causing this angst within your finances right. where you're still you're caught up in this paycheck right. to paycheck how do we get out of that right yes. so what is that mm -hmm. single biggest money breakdown is it because you love shoes <laughs> right. is it because you love for your baby to have more than you ever had when in actuality all your baby really needs and wants is you, you? <laughs> Right. <laughs> so think about that. Where is that big, that single biggest breakdown? And there may be multiple, mm -hmm. but for right now, I just want you to focus on the one thing, mm -hmm. right? Because until you get the one thing right, right, mm -hmm. then you can start focusing and fixing the other others. things if there are others. Yep. Right. So figure out what that one thing is for you. That's first and That's foremost. Great. Mm -hmm. Number two. Then what I want you to think about is what would happen if you solved it? Ah, what, how much better, how yes. much different will your life be if you solve that one yes. money leak yes. for you and your family? And I want you to think about it long term mm -hmm. as well, right? Go back and, and do, the num do the math because yes. I had this um, little 
activity that I do um, with my clients in some of my workshops. And it's really simple. It's just to for you to sit there and think about all of the money that's come through your hands from then, from the beginning to now. Think of right. every dollar that's come through your hand from the beginning to now. Right. 80% of women will develop a pelvic health condition at some point in their lives. There is relief. There is hope. The Pelvic Floor Store, your resource for personal health. How much of it do you still have? Ooh, that's a good one. Yes, we need to think about that. Right? So yes. having those true sit-down opportunities with yourself. To and being honest with yourself. Yeah. Um, absolutely. Yeah. That is the key to be honest yes. with yourself as you're going through this process. Mm -hmm. Because it's time to master the ability to focus on your money, right? right? To get that money mindset. And the last question, this is an uncomfortable question, right? <laughs> and I ask you that uncomfortable elephant in the room question. How much longer are you going to wait? How much longer? <laughs> are you going to live not having the reality that you want to have how much mm -hmm. longer are you going to continue to be broken busted and disgusted at yes. your own situation yes. because you have this one single money leak and you're not willing to give it up mm. Mm. yeah and i'm not talking about a little five dollars mm -hmm. starbucks habit but yeah. if you think about it it, that, that, that adds up, though. That, it does. It does add up. I'm not knocking Starbucks. Because if you look on my phone right, right. Now, I was going to say, I got it, too. You'll see my app. Yes. You'll see my Starbucks reward. Right. And you'll see the notifications that keep popping up on my phone. Right, right. So I'm not knocking it because you have to live. Right, absolutely. But what she's talking about is you keeping up with the Joneses right. as stated before because right. that's essentially where your leaks are I mean mm -hmm. for most of us you know sure. we're so busy like you said the shiny new thing mm -hmm. and that's that keeping up with the Joneses but what you have to remember and this is real what did that person do to get to where they're at today they didn't start with that shiny new thing mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. they didn't start with the million dollar house mm -hmm. you don't know what the they did to, to get there you know and you don't know the struggle they in to keep it to keep it that's another thing you know so you know and and the ones who built it and did it right mm -hmm. they're still doing the same thing perfect example um clark howard mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he's the self-made millionaire and has all these you know little mm -hmm, tips mm -hmm. for things but why is he a self-made millionaire? Why? Because he chose to live simple. Mm -hmm. You know, and he may, I don't know what his house looks like, but he may have a big house, but at the end of the day, he lives simple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing overly spent. He probably has a basic car, you know what I mean? Like, right, right, right. <laughs> you know, and that's the things that we need to think about. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have this big Mercedes or the Range Rover, this, that, and the other. You want to keep your money. I, I know for me, mm -hmm. I don't really need, you know, when you're younger, you see that and you want to have all of those things. But for me, at the end of the day, I like to travel. And if I'm comfortable enough and really I'm striving to be a billionaire, not a millionaire, a multi-billionaire, <laughs> that's what I'm striving to be. And I'm going to make it happen some right. kind of way, okay? But I like to travel. I don't want to have to worry about, do I have the money to pay mortgage? Do I have the money to pay rent at the salon? Do I have the money to, is everything going to be okay when I come back? Or am I taking money that I need to live mm -hmm. to go on vacation? Mm -hmm. And those are things you have to think about. Sure, yeah. sure. And I'll say this, don't get me wrong, those things are nice to have. Yes, they right? are. But there is a time and a place. For so everything. you have to be methodical yes. in the process to acquire those things. Mm -hmm. Don't put yourself into a huge debt bind in order just to get stuff to right. go out there and showboat in front of people who don't even like you and probably don't even care. Exactly. At that point, period, right? No, they, they don't, don't say talk period about you. anymore. Yeah, right? yeah, whatever they say. <laughs> <laughs> whatever the new terminology is, is yeah. that kids use. Yeah. 
Um, but I mean, those things are nice, and don't they get are. don't get it twisted because we would not be able, we would not be building generational wealth if those things were not the things that right you aspire to have. Exactly, yeah. but exactly. that doesn't mean get fifty of them. Okay. <laughs> Don't miss yeah. the process. Yeah. Don't miss yeah. the fact that, um, like April said earlier, um, you don't know what that person went through to get mm -hmm. there, right? Mm -hmm. To have those things. And um, what? Uh, who sings that song? Um, Mary, Mary. Yes. 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 Uh -huh. you know exactly yes. Yep. 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 Um, you, you don't know how long I stayed on my knees. You don't know how many nights I cried. Yeah. And that that's essentially yeah. the same thing that we're talking about. Because right. in order to right. get your financial life in order, you have to go through something, mm -hmm. this struggle. And we hate to, I hate to use the word, word struggle because it may not be a struggle for you. It may not be a struggle for anybody out there. But, you know, you, you go through something Absolutely. to get to where you're at today. And Absolutely. life is about learning things and hopefully you don't have to go through the same cycle again because you didn't get it the first time right that's what we don't want to do exactly yeah don't make those top money mistakes that everybody else made just because they made them you can learn better do better exactly and, and those are some things i'm going to be talking about on my podcast financial yes. confidence as well i'm going to be um it's basically going to be themed for the month of September when we return. Oh, excellent. Top mm -hmm. money mistakes twenty you make in your 20s that you should avoid. Top money mistakes you make in your 30s that you should avoid. Yes. Each week, I'm going to be going through that, laying it out, and then not only telling you what those money mistakes are, but then how do you plan so that you don't mm -hmm. make those mistakes. Learn from the mistakes of others. That's all yes. I'm trying to say to y'all. That's it. That's it. And her yes. podcast information will be in the description box or probably up on the screen somewhere as well. Yes. <laughs> you know? yes. so, right. I mean, because this is good information and mm -hmm. everybody does not have this information or like we said earlier, know where to get it from. But mm -hmm. like you said, Uncle Google or Miss Google because at home, it's, it's a woman when I say, it's hey, Alexa. Google, yeah. <laughs> Alexa, whoever. Google, whoever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, right. You have a lot of people to talk to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. So, you know, get just make an effort it it, it could yeah. be the smallest thing and i hope that you took something from this today because she has given you some great great tips and and, and information about what to do for your legacy your children they need to be able to live beyond you mm -hmm. you know so these are things I want you to take heed. You know, this is why I do salon chat because believe it or not, I know probably some people are probably like, I don't be talking about that in the salon. In yes. this salon, in Essence Hair Salon, mm -hmm. yes, we do. Okay. Yeah, we do. And it, it's something that I am passionate about because I want in the end, even if I don't love you, I mean, oh, I love you. you yeah, if love I, yeah, <laughs> even if I don't know, know you, you, that's what okay. I want to say. Even if I don't know you, yes. I want everybody to come out on top. And when I say everybody, and I'm going to put it out there, us, us, we need to start recycling that money. Remember Black Wall Street? Mm -hmm. They got mad and tore it down. We need to build that back up again. Absolutely. Auburn Avenue, downtown Atlanta was the same way. And I can see they're trying to rebuild it. Yep. We it's need coming. to continue to it's do coming. those things. Yes. Yep. So this is important. Take heed to this information she gave you. Because I don't know a lot of this stuff. But guess what? When I want to ask a question, I know I can go to Lynn. Because she's researched and she can tell me what I need to do, where I need to go, you know. And I can Google it. And if I Google something and I still don't understand it, I know I can come to Lynn and say, hey, Lynn, you know, such and such and such and such, you know. And I'm going to say, she even told me about, which I had no clue about, um, what was I saying, the business, um, your business credit scores, so yeah. to speak. Yeah. yeah, she explained that to me, you know. So things like that, and I took heat, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So we need to be wary of that, and we need to to um, listen when someone is giving us information because too many times we don't listen, and then you're wondering why. Well, I don't understand why I'm not doing as well as so-and-so. Mm -hmm. Somebody tried to tell you, but did yeah. you listen? And she may be the one to plant the seed 
and someone else may have to water it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Know? So, guys, I love you. I do. <laughs> <laughs> and I just want what's best for you and your family and your future. Mm -hmm. Okay? And like she said, what will people say about you when you are no longer on this side? Okay, so that's what we want to be mindful of. And I hope, I hope, I hope and pray that you really did get some great information that you can use and apply it to your life. You know, that write this stuff down and truly be honest with yourself to answer those questions and find out where it is I'm making these mistakes. Yeah. How to make your money, keep your money, yes. and grow your money. Yes, definitely. So you can do those things you're called to do. Definitely. <laughs> But I will see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and also share. Share. We need this information out there. So share. So until next time, I love you guys. Bye. Front, need a way out? Lynn Demons is here to help. She's your personal financial rebound coach. Being a wife, mother, and educator, she understands the importance of controlling your finances and building generational wealth. She is here to help you find money you didn't know you had and live life on your terms. Sounds too good to be true? Well, it is true and it's definitely a good thing. Lynn Demons of Demons Enterprise offers one-on-one -on -one coaching, group coaching, and radio podcast entitled Financial Confidence God's Way on WYTV7 Christian Broadcasters Network. Lynn Demons of Demons.